Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Dorothy's dream. Today on Around Kansas, join us for a story about Esther Luttrell and her latest work. Then the strange story of Elmer McCurdy and his travels after death. Next, learn about the haunting in Atchison, Kansas. And we'll end with a look at the trailer for American in Paris, a film about the history of the hospital. Stay with us. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Hello, I'm Frank. I'm still Deb. <laughs> and this is Around Kansas Almost Halloween Edition. Almost Halloween. <laughs> yeah, any excuse to dress up, right, Frank? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In well, fact, um, Oscar, the uh, what is Oscar? Is he a parrot or a cockatiel or uh, cockatoo or what is I he? I don't know, some sort of bird. He's a bird that lives downstairs talks. in the basement, yeah. And uh, he, he was uh, a little aghast when he saw the hat. He thought he recognized <laughs> some of his relatives here, so he was... Uh, not real thrilled with the with he, the. Hat. He walked around and around the chair with <laughs> the parrot here too. Uh, by the way, this is a Jimmy Buffett parrot head hat. So he was Oscar's probably wondering why he didn't get a drink, you know here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're looking for a margarita. Where's the margarita, man? <laughs> I want the margarita. Yeah, Chancy, you <laughs> make hats out of my relatives, and then I I get no stinking margarita. So oh. so what are you gonna do for Halloween? Halloween, what am I doing? Probably staying home as usual. <laughs> we, With your porch light out so that the kids don't come by? No, no, no. The other thing is, is we've been in our neighborhood for, gosh, about 30-some years. And, of course, when we first moved over there, there were a lot of young children around the area. And we had lots and lots of kids. And they've all grown up. They're and all in away. nursing homes now, aren't and they? And so <laughs> our street is all lighted up, and we maybe get three or four so we have lots of leftover candy. Leftover candy, go to Frank's house. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you run, if you run out, give me a call. <laughs> candy alert! Candy alert! <laughs> well, we live so far out in the boonies that nobody's going to come by, you know. So we might give some treats to the horses or something. <laughs> Probably the leftover pumpkin. We give. I give them the leftover watermelon. The mules love that. And uh, but I'm going to try pumpkin treats. What do you mean out there? They they don't load up everybody on the hay rack and go farm to farm and. Uh, no, they don't. They don't. Everybody goes to town and you know right. walks around town and and of course like everywhere else they do stuff. You know and that uh, I got to put in another plug. I, I know I mentioned a while back when our Sonic drive-in uh, opened and we're all thrilled about that. And of course that's right next to Mittens and Mittens has been there for a while right on the interstate, you know, I-70. And I can't tell you how much I love that place because it means so much to me to have a place that number one is open 24 <laughs> seven because when you come in from out of town and everything is closed and you don't feel like cooking and it's like 10 o'clock at night or 11 <laughs> or 12, you know you can depend on them. You know, some place is going to be open, you can get fuel, I mean, and it's going to be good. It's going to be safe. It's going to be clean. It's going to be nice people. And I can't tell you how much that means to me to have that little uh, uh, connection to civilization, no matter what hour of the day it is. So no, God that, bless you guys. That's really small town, folks. Well, when the big event in town is Sonic is open. I, I'm telling you, that's it is. It's great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It is. It is a big deal. And uh -huh. like I said, we we uh, we <laughs> you work with what you got, Frank. You know, and we um, that's the price you pay for living in the midst of all that gorgeousness out on the high plains. Yeah. And I. Want to trade it? Hey, small towns it. are the greatest thing there is. Right, they are small towns and the and the rural countryside. I love it. I I really, really love it. Hey, we actually With have people. some stories today too. Do we? Well, 
Watch Ag AM in Kansas online at agamincansas.com. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow. About six jumps later, I was laying on the ground and thinking, boy, my shoulders sure hurt. I kept waiting and it, it didn't get better and didn't get better. I'd heard about Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center on the radio. Got down there at eight o'clock in the morning and by 11.30 the procedure was all over and it just kept getting better and better. And Within six weeks I was back digging post holes and doing the other hard work that I'd been doing before the accident. And I'm really pleased, it's, it's really worked out well for me. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. And here we are again. Aren't you happy about that? You know, I was just thinking we're going to talk about my friend Esther Latrell, our friend, and I'll share Esther with you, Frank. And, you know, the screening for the movie Tayata, we told you about it, um, I think maybe when it was uh, winning awards way back when, a few months ago. And now it's released in theaters. And once again, I think, while well, she's writing this award-winning screenplay, what have I done, Frank? What have I, <laughs> I, I was raising pumpkins. You know, that's, I got a, yeah. seven pumpkins out of the, out of the uh, water trough. You know, that's what yeah. I did. <laughs> when I first met Esther, I mean, she, she brought the, the radio station a, a painting that fit the 1950s uh -huh. and all of that. And very unassumingly sat down and we were just chatting and I was getting to know her and she was talking about writing screenplays in Hollywood and all that. And she wasn't doing this to brag. It was just, that's her. That's all right, what this is does. what, yeah, this is her life. And yeah. her life is pretty incredible. If we made a movie of Esther's life story, Man, that could be a that could be a mini series. You know, that could that could take a whole week of movie lifetime movie of the weeks or whatever. But amazing lady, and great success with the new film Tayata, which is now playing in theaters. So you have the opportunity to see it. There are birds of every color: red, blue, green. Yet they are all one bird. So with men, they're all one people. What of the Indian senator do you find so offensive? Pagan dances, witch doctor rituals. All that is sacred, what do they want of us? Not to exist. So when you leave for college? I prefer she stick around here. Nice and normal. To go, Daddy. Are you Chickasaw then? What do you have to say? What stories do you have to tell? What could you show me that I haven't seen before? Long ago, my people were searching for a place to call home. Ahead of them was a great white dog. Some say he can still be seen guiding our people. What will you do next? Maybe New York? Broadway? Tell me she's coming home. New York City. But I just landed a Broadway role. Each time you take the stage, you bring light to a dark world. This is our home. We don't have to wander anymore. And neither do you. I want to focus on Broadway. Maybe it's not about what you want to do. Maybe it's about what you were meant to do. Your daughter has a gift. She can open up the eyes of the world to the Chickasaw people. Indians are the natives of this land. They belong here. All you Indians are the same. I want you to stay off this property. People are afraid of what they don't know. I have to go. So that I can tell our stories. The White House? President Roosevelt? My name is Teata.
Buffalo Bill Cody earned his legendary title in Oakley. Bring the family and come celebrate Oakley's pioneering history and unique geography at two sites, the Buffalo Bill Cultural Center and the Fick Fossil Museum. Cody's statue marks his achievements and welcomes visitors to the Cultural Center. The Fick Fossil Museum houses world-class fossils and artifacts. You'll find Oakley at the hub of U.S. Highways 83 and 40 and I-70. Stop for the legend. Stay for the day. Discover Oakley. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Fort Wallace was the fightingest fort in the West. Fossils, Indians, soldiers, scouts, wagons, trails, pioneers, stories. Discover the story of Fort Wallace and the people who served here, the people who fought here, the people who settled here. Wallace County, where the past is present. This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. And back again we are. Well, you know, this next story it should be encouraging to all of us. If we don't get anything accomplished in our lifetimes, why, <laughs> there's the afterlife in which to accomplish things, as our friend Elmer McCurdy will yeah, yeah, demonstrate. Yeah. Well, and, you know, uh, back when, in the uh, 19th century and early 20th century, there wasn't TV, uh, radio didn't come along until the 1920s, and so uh, there were a lot of traveling shows and Chautauquas and what mm -hmm. have you. And uh, there was one that was quite famous is the next story. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it, there were just very strange things and, and people, of course, flocked to see them. And for, you know, one thin dime, you can come in and see this, this show and hear a talk and, and what have you. Well, um, this next story uh, about uh, 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 yeah, it's pretty wild. But it makes me, it puts me in mind of right after the Lincoln assassination and, you know, the whole the manhunt for Booth and everything, there were three Booth mummies traveling the country with the shows like you're talking about. And then it was only a nickel. So for a nickel, you could go in and see the mummy of the Booth assassin. So... Uh, and of course, Booth was actually buried. He was <laughs> none of those mummies, but did that stop the showman from making money off of Booth's mummy? Yeah. No, it did not. What yeah. a great country. And you can have some of this wonderful elixir, too. That's right, some elixir. If you if you ain't seeing Booth, you will. And this is. <laughs> but... You drink this and you'll see him everywhere. You might think Elmer McCurdy would have given up when his attempts to blast into safes went awry. In one try, he used so much nitroglycerin that it destroyed most of the money he was trying to steal. Another time, the nitro melted the silver coin. In a Chautauqua, Kansas bank, they blew the vault door clear through the bank, but couldn't get through the interior door and made away with only change. In 1911, he and his crew planned to rob the Katy train, carrying $400,000 to the Osage Nation. Only... He stopped the wrong train. Three days later, he was surrounded and shot dead by the law. Poor Elmer's body was taken to a funeral home in Pawhuska, Oklahoma, where it went unclaimed. The owner embalmed the body using an arsenic preservative to halt decomposition. Hoping to make a dollar off the unclaimed cadaver, he gave McCurdy a shave, dressed him in street clothes, and put him up for display. For a nickel, you could see the, quote, bandit who wouldn't give up. This would go on for five years until out of the blue, McCurdy's long-lost brother, Aver, arrived in town to claim the body. After satisfying local law enforcement and paying the undertaker for expenses, the body was released into his care, where it was supposed to be shipped to California for burial. Instead, it was sent to Arkansas City, Kansas, it turns out that Aber's real name was James Patterson, partial owner of the Great Patterson Carnival Show. McCurdy's corpse was renamed, quote, the outlaw who would never be captured alive and traveled with the carnival until 1922. 
following a series of owners, the body eventually ended up in an L.A. warehouse until it was sold to the Hollywood Wax Museum and then in 1976 to a fun house in Long Beach, California. On December 8, 1976, the crew for the $6 million man were filming an episode in the fun house where McCurdy's body was thought to be part of the set. However, when one of the prop men tried to rearrange the wax mannequin, the arm broke off, revealing human bone and tissue. The police were called in and an investigation ensued. After a slew of forensic tests and detective footwork, McCurdy was identified. In 1977, a funeral procession transported McCurdy to Boot Hill in Guthrie, Oklahoma. McCurdy was buried next to Bill Doolin, Pretty good company, considering McCurdy never managed to successfully complete one single robbery. Welcome to the Jerry Thomas Gallery and Collection, where we showcase my renowned frontier military and Native American artifacts. Behind me you see a touch of fall. We put together not only the beauty of Micah High Walking, who is the first graduate of West Point of the Northern Cheyenne people and a dear friend, but also a Hudson's Bay blanket that I have here in the gallery. The unique opportunity that I was able to have was we unveiled this painting and surprised Micah at Custer Battlefield, a true honor. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at ksgrainsorghum.org. Welcome back, folks. <laughs> Here we are. And obviously it's just ahead of Halloween because we don't normally dress like this. I don't I normally do. Occasionally, you know, maybe. Yeah. Not always. Okay. As if Elmer McCurdy were not enough, we have even more, don't we, Frank? Yes, ghosties. Ghosties. And we got ghosties all over the state, <laughs> as uh, some of you uh, are probably aware. You know, we, we got some pretty cool ghost stories. Oh, and yeah. We yeah. got ghosts that chase people and ghosts that get picked up in cars and ghosts that haunt buildings. You know, we did that one on the Capitol ghost. Uh -huh. You'll have to go back in our archive and look at that one, the ghost of the the state capitol. That's a pretty cool story. Well, one of the more famous Topeka ghosts, of course, is at Metro Castle. Yes. Yeah, with Metro there. That's way cool. That's a great story. Yes, yes. That's yes. just all over. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, people have tried to disprove that, and so far, nobody has. So. Browsing through old newspapers can turn up some pretty interesting stories, especially appropriate for this time of year. Atchison, Kansas has capitalized on its ghostly inhabitants and its haunted tours are sellouts around Halloween. Thousands of people flock to the city hoping to catch a glimpse of a real ghost. The Chamber of Commerce won't guarantee that spirits show up on every tour, but just maybe. Perhaps the most famous haunted site, the Sally House, has been the subject of television, movies, and a documentary. Stories like this one, from more than a hundred years ago, may have helped build the city's haunted reputation. A man had lately died, the paper reported, and strange noises began to fill the house. Neighbors were sitting with the dead man's family in a half-basement room off the kitchen. A stairway led from this room. Suddenly, strange noises were heard coming from upstairs, from the room in which the man had died. There was a noise on the stairway, a noise of some object bumping from one side to another and descending. Then the door opened, and a man's head rolled into the room. The people sitting in the room fled in terror and cannot give much of a description of the head. Not surprisingly, the family stayed with neighbors and refused to go back into the house. The article concluded by saying, Last night, four stout young men, armed, stayed in the house, intending to set up all night. We have not found a follow-up report, 
Perhaps those stout young men from a hundred years ago are still there, waiting for a head to roll down the stairs. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays, and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Here we are again. Happy Halloween, almost. Happy Halloween. Yeah. This next story is pretty incredible, and I have to thank my friend Ryan Fagan. We were classmates together at Washburn when I was non-traditional and he was like a normal student and therefore I'm like, I don't know, 50, 70 years older than Ryan is. And he is a professor. Another theme of, you know, what have I done with my life, you know? So here's Ryan, this brilliant young man who's a professor of philosophy or something like that at um, the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Kansas City. And Ryan sent me this link on October 30th at 4 p.m. They're going to be showing this film, The American in Paris. And it's about the hospital that the Americans, I think, built, um, at least staffed. It, this is an incredible documentary. And one of the people, one of the producers, I believe, is going to be at the screening to visit with people. I can't tell you how good this is. Everybody knows the story of the, the volunteer team of American Hospital. Some American people want to help the French. At the beginning in the hospital, there were only 24 beds. A few weeks later, there were more than 1,000. In January of 1915, teams of doctors started three-month rotations at the American Hospital. Toutes les guerres favorisent les progrès médicaux. The ambulances were coming from the American hospital. They were young men. They wanted to have adventure. What better adventure than marching off to war? And the only qualification you needed was a steady hand and a brave heart. There is an increasing recognition now on the part of the French of what the hospital accomplished during World War I and it became the legacy of the Americans in Europe. Well, we have to go away again. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas.
Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.